www.audio-audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio.audio
head. That's the problem with some uh, headsets for me. But in this case, I can only wear it like a crown. It doesn't go deeper here. And this is a very big problem. So it feels like I'm dropping it on the floor every time. I really have to be careful. And when I force it to go deeper here, it really hurts on my forehead here. So this is very bad. That they, It's not big enough. Even though it looks big, but it's not big enough in this case. And uh, this is for me a big disadvantage. Of course, most people um, it will fit, but on my big head <laughs> it doesn't fit. And I have another thing here that I can try. I have prepared some glasses here to check out if this works with people wearing glasses. So let's check it out. As you can see, this is not a problem. I can um, see everything through, the, through my glasses and through the lenses of the headset. That's not a problem. You can wear very big glasses. So only problem perhaps is the reflection of the, of the glasses, but uh, that's not a problem with the headset. It's a problem with the glasses, of course. But as you can see, this works. Okay guys, let's check out the display and the lenses of this device. Um, for the technical specs, it's 2.5K displays per eye. We have two displays and this is pretty okay. And the Hertz is 60. This is pretty low, but to be honest, I didn't find this very bad. It's okay. And here is the biggest advantage of this headset. The field of view is 90 degrees and this is for an AR headset very very big. We can compare it with the HoloLens. The HoloLens has 35 field of view. <laughs> so it's more than double the, the size of the HoloLens and this is really awesome. Um, this is the by far the biggest advantage of the dream glass. So as you know now the technical specs, let's go through the lens and see some footage that I recorded with my smartphone through the lens. Okay guys, here we are and I covered the proximity sensor with a piece of cloth. So let's check it out. You see this? The, the display is very big. This is a completely another category than a Magic Leap or HoloLens. It's very clear, but that's it for the positive points. Check this out. There's no tracking. It's only three degrees of freedom. Not like with the HoloLens. You can attach the NOLO, but I'm not a big fan of the NOLO tracking. That's not, not really better. So for me, it's a very negative point. Very, very negative. You cannot really use it very good. Now we can push here on the eye icon or on the next icon. And we can switch through the scenes, as you can see. It, as you can see, it, it looks very good. The display looks very good. It's very big and the field of view is very big. Let's put it to the front. Do you see the lens? I hope you can imagine how big the field of view is. It's much bigger than with HoloLens. Let's go to the next, a plant cell. Oh, you can even go back and you can go to info and <laughs> see, look at this. It's a little, a little bit um, difficult to hold it the right way, the camera. Do you see that? The, the picture is very blurry when I move it to left and right. It's, it doesn't look very good. The quality is 
of the display is sharp, but if you move it, it's very, very blurry. I, I don't like this. And the tracking is <laughs> so bad. Let's go to next. Oh, this looks really cool. You can watch the details here in this app, but that's it. <laughs> that's only a, a sample app. There's uh, nothing really big to, to see. Okay, here we are. And let's check this out. Let's go to the lens. This is something like a desktop app. You can just view the, your desktop. And I will try to hold it the right way. It, as you can see, it looks pretty good. You can see everything. But uh, the question is, do we need this? Do we need a monitor? <laughs> I don't know. This is just only a, a monitor function. You, you can just uh, mirror your monitor. That's it. The display, that was display. I don't know, could be better. <laughs> okay guys, there is not much to talk about now. You, you've seen everything what I wanted to show you. You have an impression of what this thing is about, the dream glass. And um, let's see the, the advantages and disadvantages. For me, there are much more disadvantages about this dream glass. So the most important thing is the tracking there. So if you buy it like this, there is no tracking. You have three degrees of freedom and even this doesn't work very good. If you move your head, everything, the whole world moves with you. There's nothing <laughs> about this. Um, and the, the display is, is good. It, the field of view is big, but when you shake your head, everything gets blurry. It's, it's very blurry and this is very bad also. The next negative thing is, and this is a very negative thing, is the cable length. When you want to use it for PC, so they, they recommend it for PC and Android, when you use it for PC, the cable is not long enough. I'm one meter and 75 centimeters big and my PC stands on the ground and this is, this is the, already the cable length uh, from my head to the ground. That, that's also the cable length. So you can't go one step forward, then it, it doesn't really work because you rip out the cable of, out of your PC because the cable is not long enough. Very, very bad. Of course, it works with the Android, but uh, there is one thing. Um, I can show you the price. So this is what you get when you only buy the dream glass. It's $619, but there is no tracking and no possibility to put it on Android devices or iPhone doesn't even work, it's in development. So this is 690. If you want to buy it with Android support, you need this adapter. It's 75 additional bucks, but if you, buy it now, you will pay, but you won't get this one. I paid for it, but I didn't get it. Even though they, they told me it's shipped, it's, it's not available yet. You can't have it. So you have to wait for it. You can only use it on PC and on PC it, it, the cable length is not <laughs> long enough. And the next thing is if you want to have tracking, you need the Nolo set. You have to buy the Nolo set and everything together is like 875 bucks plus shipping. And this is, um, for me, it's too much because there are so many disadvantages. Of course, it's much cheaper than the HoloLens or the Magic Leap, but there is no comp this is not a competition for HoloLens or Magic Leap, even though the price is much lower because it's, it's not much more than an additional monitor for me. Uh, it's, it's not fun, it's, it doesn't really work, tracking doesn't work, cable is too short, display is blurry, 
No. Only thing is the big field of view. I, I wouldn't even say this is for uh, somebody who wants to have a first uh, look at augmented reality, a first cheap look. No, that's not a big thing for that. If you want to have a first look at augmented reality, I recommend the Jedi Challenges headset from Lenovo. You, sometimes you can have it for 99 bucks or 199 bucks and this is a good price for um, augmented reality starters, but not this one. There, there's beginners, Jedi Challenges or high-end users, you could buy the HoloLens or the Magic Leap, much better. But in my opinion, if you can stand it, wait for the HoloLens 2. I think this should be much better. Of course, it will be a little bit more expensive than this one, but it will be much better. I can promise. <laughs> I can promise. So, no guys, I, I cannot recommend this one. It's It also feels so cheap. When you touch it, you, you think you will instantly break it because it feels so cheap. <laughs> of course, it's light, but it's very, very cheap. No guys, this is nothing for me. I cannot recommend it and I hope I could I uh, could show you something about this headset and you can now imagine what this thing is about the dream glass guys thanks for watching if you like to subscribe that would be awesome give me a thumbs up and if you like to support my work so I can do much more English videos like this then you can do this via patreon one buck per month would be enough you can find everything under this video. So thanks for watching and see you next time in augmented reality. See ya!